right, in this quick video we're going to go over the incoming payments inside boot text so please see the payment packages for how to get a button to use on your website so clients can actually purchase uh, a membership into your system to use your SMS gateway um, but anytime a payment comes through we have the payments that come in up here inside this table here it shows date submitted the client the amount product name the status transaction ID and then we have the action which allows us to uh, add and edit different transactions into the system so depending on how you have your settings here whether it be a PayPal authorized and interface first data determines on where your clients will appear inside your system now if you're taking manual payments you're more than welcome to do so um, but to see PayPal transactions click on the PayPal transactions tabs to click on first data transactions you can see that by clicking on the first data tab and then to see auth.net payments click on the API transactions and all those will appear here as well uh, to manually add a payment in the system just for record keeping purposes enter the payment date the client name the amount they paid the package that they have and the manual transaction ID this can be any number that you create it could be a PayPal invoice number or whatever you want it to be. Enter that number here. And if that payment's been completed, just indicate it's completed. And then any notes. Click on Save. And now that user should be added automatically into the payment system under PayPal if you refresh. And here we see the transaction. If you want to add more notes, we can do so there. Uh, but if the payment happens to fail, let's say they write you a check and the payment fails, you can click on this, and then it'll automatically take that out of the completed stage. If you click it again, let's say the customer asks for a refund, you can refund them to click it. This way you have proper reporting of the amounts inside the system. To search for a specific transaction, just search by client name and automatically propagate and search for that particular name. This concludes training on using the Manage Payments inside of WooText.